Yes, 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 you are tuned in to Offering Something. I am your host, Michael Bernier, feeling so good to be alive. <laughs> yeah, you know that's the truth. It's a beautiful day. So much love for our sponsors. Enjoy Your Life brand, Spicket River Brewery, and Higher Education Music and Arts Festival. This right here is a beautiful day. That is the truth. I am so excited to have a very special guest in the room today. He's an entrepreneur, an inventor, an OG in the yo-yo game. He's a beautiful human and a dear friend. Introducing Eli Balin. Yeah, oh, man. All right, Michael, thank you for having me, man. I am excited to be here. Yeah. And, uh, I, that wasn't only the like greatest uh, introduction for me ever, but probably <laughs> the only introduction for me good. ever also. That was, that was fantastic. <laughs> I feel like was so welcomed right now. You, you are welcomed, and it's nice to list those amazing accomplishments that you've had, and there's many more. I hope yeah. they heard the yo-yo part. Yeah, and, yeah we'll uh, get into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get right into this, man. So we'll be all over the, the board with today's interview. First thing first, where are you from? Where were you born into this world? What's your birthplace? Uh, my birthplace is about two miles from where we're standing right here at Anna Jake's Hospital, and I grew up in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Newburyport, Massachusetts. Wow. Yes, for those okay. who yeah. don't aren't sure exactly where we're <laughs> broadcasting from, but Newburyport, Massachusetts, the yeah. the one and only awesome port town here in Massachusetts, and uh, grew up here till about high school, right in this South Shore uh, or South End area. Yeah, and uh, North Shore, just about forty north minutes shore. north of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, yeah. And then you were here till high school. You go to Newburyport High School. Yeah, went to the New, went to the Newburyport Elementary Middle School, and then my first two years in at the high school. That's right. And then something happened. Yeah. What happened there? And I moved to the Florida Keys. Oh, why? <laughs> A little different vibe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is. And, yeah. And you finished out your last two years of high school in the Florida Keys. Which key in particular were you sleeping So I'm in? an Upper Keys kid, so I lived yeah. in Isle Mar- I mean, I lived in Key Largo. But Did the Lower uh, Keys kids interject here. Lower no, Keys kids look down on the Upper Keys kids. Right. So when I tell people I'm also from the Keys, a lot of people yeah. want to, you know, they think Key West. But actually, yeah. I'm like, more nah, of an Upper nah, Keys nah, kid. Nah, upper keys. The Keys is three areas. It's Upper Keys, which is like Key Largo, Isle Mar- Middle Keys, which is the marathon area, yeah, yeah. and then Key West, which is like Big Pine down to, or the Lower yeah, Keys, which is yeah. like Big Pine down to Key West. Uh, so, I mean, I love all the keys. And, uh, but and I'm kind of, it's like, as them. far as the, yeah, okay. But in yeah, terms yeah. of sort of being a local and, 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 and who, you know, connects with from each the other. Upper Keys, you're not the trying to be keys. like, yo, I'm from the upper Coral class. Coral Shores like, High School class yeah. of 1996, Coral right there. Coral Shores, oh, yeah. look at that. So You've seen boy. it, you, you've driven by it once or twice. Many times, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then um, you stay down in Florida, or you migrate to somewhere else? A little bit of, yeah, so went uh, over to UCF, did a little bit of college there, got into playing with yo-yos, yes, uh, you did, did a little bit of that, uh, <laughs> professionally, I'd like, to, I'd like to say. And uh, you, Now, let's just go right into the yo-yo <laughs> yeah. thing, because that's fun to talk about. You're a professional yo-yo player, mm-hmm. and... There's something to a guy that doesn't know anything about yo-yoing, if that's even the terminology. Yeah, close enough. Okay, sure. I'll roll with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you created a trick that is lasting forever. It's like documented yeah. in the world of yo-yo. Yeah, there's actually, uh, and I didn't name the trick because yeah. it would sound the kind of like all about me. Yeah. But uh, I think it was that when I kind of started finding the community, this was back in the mid to late 90s when the internet was still kind of new. And I just yo-yoed myself. I just liked playing with them. And then when I probably... When I, like how my, did people find out well, you were that, good that at yo-yo? That was yo-yo. just it. That was just it. So I think what happened was... Uh, when I moved to Orlando and my roommate has a computer and we're like, ooh, she has the internet. So ooh. I think the first thing I did when I got on her computer and, and like did whatever Google was back then, I don't know if it was Google or what, and I was like, like yeah. yo-yo, <laughs> what's yo-yo? And I found like uh, other people that did it and Tallahassee had some people. So I went up to like, I think what was a, it was like a contest and I just kind of had a different style and there was this one trick. You flew out to Tallahassee? No, to no, do I it. drove. I, I lived oh, in Orlando. Oh no, I drove. I drove. So you yeah. drove so to I, Tallahassee. I yeah. So you're pretty serious about yo yo Oh, yeah, no, it was, that was like a weekend thing. Like, I'm yep. driving from Orlando to Tallahassee. Like, there's the Southeast Regional Your mother competition. mother was, like, patting you on the back, like, trying to be supportive, but, like, Oh, wow. yeah, they're like, what's he it's doing? It's okay like, to have like, one yeah, weird one. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Carry yeah. on. Yeah. So, uh, no, but anyway, I showed up there, and uh, 
you know, not necessarily the best, but but pretty good, I think, in comparison. And then I just had a style, and there was this one trick that uh, that I did that just kind of I, I I never even knew that I made it up. But people were like, "What's that? What's that?" Ooh, and, and so someone else innovator, said, "Someone inventor. else called." It, they basically call it the Eli Hop. That's the that's the, the official Eli Hop. So that's the official name of the trick. It's actually for anybody that does yo-yo, absolutely knows the trick. Anybody that knows it, if you me, watch any yeah. yoga uh, yoga oh, yo-yo yeah, yeah. contest, if you can find oh, you those, can actually go. Like, people it, will be I, saying I, it. I found Ooh, like, you can Google. Eli you'll Hop. actually find you, you'll actually find like. Uh, so, uh, like a segment from the Guinness Book of World Records of some Japanese kid that I think does the most Eli hops in a minute. Wow. Like that, that's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. Not me. Like there's some people but that... it says Eli Hop in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely like it's a... That's an accomplishment. I, I, I think... Well, yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> I, well, well I think what, I, what I've come to realize yeah. about that trick in particular is that it, it becomes... It becomes a gateway trick, like to learn that trick, a which looks kind trick. of a it's a gateway trick to more advanced tricks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so once people really learn that trick, it allows them to figure out more advanced tricks. So you know, at that point, then people can. It's like you yeah. kind of have to learn that trick along the way, the progression yeah. to being. And and I never knew that at the time. And class. just a, a quick descri description is that a fairly basic to intermediate trick is what's called the trapeze when you throw the yo-yo sideways and it lands you on don't the, have a yo-yo on your in your no man wow I, i've you, never you know, seen this before bring up the, of course I, I have kandamas with me other toys but i don't oh have oh my gosh uh, i don't I'm, think i I'm have quite one in my surprised car. that you I don't usually have a yo-yo with you i usually always have a yo-yo with me but yep. i and there could be one in my car i'd have to go check but I don't so all right, we're in florida you did some yo-yo yeah, 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 things whatever yeah. you moved to new york at some point new york yeah i lived in new york city did the sort of the office thing was in advertising media advertising for probably like 6 years there or I was in New York for six years, off and on doing a bunch of things, just kind of like that progression of what normal yeah. life's supposed to be, I think, when, with office jobs. and. Uh, now, amidst that, is it true that you were out there doing some stand-up comedy? Did that happen I did, at some yeah, point? Yeah, so I'm always a, I was a huge uh, stand-up fan. So it, for me, it only uh, it, uh, really went into open mics. So is it upsetting when somebody tells you to tell me a joke? Tell me uh, a joke. Oh man, I can't Tell remember me. jokes. Oh, yeah, uh, no, I don't know. I don't want you to do uh, that. Uh, oh, I mean, I can I can think so, of one off the head. I, <laughs> I was thinking about masks. Everyone wearing the uh, we're in the pandemic right now, and I thought about that, like like everyone's wearing a mask, and I I think the silver lining is like about nice about wearing a mask is that there's a lot of ugly people. <laughs> yes. Do so you I'm enjoy uh, yeah. Curb Your Enthusiasm? Is that one the of your show? shows? Yeah. Of course. Okay, Who doesn't yeah. everyone likes that I, show? I, <laughs> I sense a little Larry David in your humor there. So now we're in, we're in New York. We're doing some some stand up comedy, and then you end up back in yeah, Massachusetts. Yeah, so I lived, so so I think there was a point where I wasn't loving my industry, and New York really expensive place to live in that sort of like you know crossroads of am I gonna live this city life or yeah. You know, at that point, I still have a lot yeah. of uh, family and friends up here, not too far from New York, and decided just to make the move back. Yep. So did that, and. From that point, I had a few similar jobs, more on a local end, and uh, from there, I would say, is when I started to kind of explore that, you know, owning my own business type so of stuff. So this is, yep, you're back up here. You realize, you know, maybe this office job, even like out having meetings and appointments job is not my vibe, and I want to start my own thing. What is it in you that made you believe that you could succeed at doing your own thing? Like for a lot of people out there, there's no point where they're like, oh, you know, it's an option. I'll start my own business. Yeah, and that's like, definitely so, the case with me. I was never – and the way it worked out for so, me was was not like that train of thought of like I can do this on my own. No, it yeah. all kind of worked itself out, and if I, look, if I knew things now if I, or if I knew things then that I know now – I didn't. I would probably wouldn't have realized the risk I was actually taking in terms right. of financially and like, and if things didn't go right, what the consequences could have been. But and and uh, I mean, so I guess, it was more. It wasn't driven by you know what I think well, I can succeed in this. Well, it was it more was, so like I'm tired of working for somebody. So uh, so the first of me owning a business yeah. uh, was uh, was. Uh, Uts, potato chips. I owned a merchandise <laughs> route. Did you yeah. know that? No. Did you never know? Okay, so so those are chip, potato chips. Potato chips. Wait, you don't you know Uts, man? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I, and, yeah. I, and yeah. I was still it's to like this day promote the hell out of Uts. I love Uts, man. Uts uh, lover. Yeah, I, and uh, Mr. Uts so, lover. 
Uh, mm. So what, what happened with that? So, uh, <laughs> yo, they well, should do that with Shaggy. That? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm uh, nothing. I, I, yeah, I mean, should an Uts be in a rap? Like, yeah. like lyric, absolutely. Like, <laughs> it probably is. I would think. So yeah. you own some a route for Uts, yeah. and then that was when you're like, well, why don't I just do my own jam here? I can, I can do this. Well, no, not exactly. That was that was so. What the progression was working for Frito Lay at first, getting a a position where it was a role that where you have to kind of learn everything, and I was going to be the, the uh, promoted into like what would be a managerial type of role. Yeah. Uh, but you have to kind of start by just doing the th- like driving the truck, delivering the chips, yeah. all that sort of thing. And I actually kind of like being from out of the belt. I like I like that change in general from being off out of an office. Excuse me. And um, but, 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 what, but what I didn't love in general, and I think that's just a part of me, just the, the corporate idea. Like it, it was PepsiCo, you know, and I that wasn't oh, that, yeah. that, that. That's not really so. Your vibe. So in terms of under knowing what I'm supposed, and then seeing like my bosses, ones that I guess I'm supposed to want to become. You again, th- nothing against them. It's just that wasn't my that okay. wasn't me. So at the same time, while I'm doing that, working for Free to Lay, you start to know other people that like that you see at these uh supermarkets that are doing the same thing you're doing but maybe for a different cup co- company yeah. such as pepperidge farm Uts oh, potato yeah, chips. yeah and yeah yeah those those companies actually right uh, even though they it's like working to, for budweiser or working for a spigot river brewery so to say you could be a part of the actual family when you were going to those other well, organizations well, right and a lot of maybe the companies such as pepperidge farm and us yep. potato chips even though uh you as a worker adhere to all their promotional you you have so much shelf life at, at this at these stores you, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. you actually own the route you purchase the route meaning or you you purchase the territory and it's on you uh. to grow it um, uh, fill it up, and so if you can grow it to a certain point, you can sell off a piece I of it or you. hire more help and all that. It's like franchising so territories that's, to that's some degree. Essentially, what yep. it is, sure. And um, uh, so at the time, so I, I, I did that. I left Free to Lay. Did you gain a lot of weight when you were working with Uts? I don't think was so. there more chip consumption? No, no, Michael, because I was a runner. Oh, okay, uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we'll get <laughs> deep into that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, were either of your parents entrepreneurs, business owners? No. Unique, okay. No. All right, all right, no, all right. I, well, I mean, my, my dad's always owned his own business, but he's always just been a machinist, never wanted anybody working for him or to work for anybody, and always just sort of did wealth to himself as being yep. sort of a master machinist at, with his few clients making BB. big, cool parts. He is a master. BB Machine, shout out. Uh, that's right. Downtown New Report to this day. So, so right, right now, now what, what what is your current industry? Like, what, where are you? So as as far as uh, still paying uh, some let, bills would be the endurance, say, f- the endurance, the en- what, endurance events. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Endurance yeah. events. Let's just disregard the current state of the world at the moment. Yeah. 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 Right? yeah, yeah so yeah. the current endurance well, events. On my couch because events yeah. can't happen right now. But uh, you know. Endurance events. Uh, primary focus. Distance running. Right. Yeah. Endurance events. Uh, or just events in general. But yeah. like. Uh, but m- as You're, you know, mostly. The, the the endurance being running events, but I do organize Amesbury Days, which is a community wide, yeah. yeah. uh, uh, town like a town wide uh, multiple event extravaganza, so to speak. So I kind of extravaganza. Over, I kind of oversee those events. Some that I do put on, some that other That's groups nice put on, yeah. and uh, and just kind of other other event stuff. But so. Now, your main events, your successful events are ultimately the distance running, well, yeah. half marathons, yeah. marathons, 5Ks, 10Ks, mm-hmm. these kinds of things. Mm-hmm. What was the first one? The Newburyport Half Marathon. Newburyport Half Marathon. So that Marathon. was, again, to go back to sort of what you were talking about with yeah. the entrepreneurial spirit, again, it, I would say I that was never even a thought at the time when I owned the Uts route. And was doing that, and yep. uh, my wife and I being runners, her really into running, and us going to a lot of races at the time, and and uh, I just being from Newburyport, knowing how strong of a running community Newburyport has, yep. and at the time there was no half marathon, which was like the distance to run. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of was like, you, you know, what, I'm going to put one in. Lane. I want to do it in the fall, yeah. which is the, the the prime time to do it. Yeah. I'm just going to do it. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, from what I understood from these road races, that they're all just nonprofit. Uh, so and so that's what that first one was in terms of 100. Uh, pick a charity, 
if we raise any money, great, but let's just make a really cool runner experience, yeah. a beautiful course at a beautiful time of year. And I just kind of went forward with it. And, uh, and, and that was a, definitely a learning curve. Yeah. To, and that was and continues to be a very successful, successful one of the most – yeah, like people love that road race mm -hmm. and it led to spiraled you into like oh okay i have this one i can do more and there were several one-offs throughout a salisbury there's running been all festival, sorts of oh yeah you working know, with wayne Capolupo. Yeah, yeah. i love wayne yeah um and then you're in you wind up with some kind of like margarita run in the keys. What was that? The rum runner run. Rum runner which, run. Which, by the I way, knew it was supposed to be back for 2020. Wow. Uh, which we actually are now calling it the rum runner run, but it's just virtual style. So it's, yeah. it's not going to be really official till next year. Yep. Yeah. And then after that, the concept of the Al Murata half marathon came into play with an old pal of yours from high school, right? Oh yeah, Robbie. Robert Robbie Robbie McClung, my my yeah. best my boy. I love him. he's a good yeah. dude. He's so yeah. wacky and yeah. so nice and wonderful. So you guys developed the Al Murata Half Marathon. Where did yeah. that come from? You you so, were just like uh, so yeah. I was sort of off and running with Green Stride here yep. in the North Shore area, and having my roots, having some roots down in the Keys, and loving it. And again, kind of being like Al Murata is like the it key. Uh, doesn't have Hold on, I don't know if we said green stride is like the umbrella for the races, so it was the green stride. Right. So green stride was me. So the, the first race that new report, and to this day, people will call what I. So my company ended was has been called Green Stride. Yeah. But that very first event, when I first met with the mayor uh, Donna Holiday at the time, being like, "Hey, I want to do this still, race," and still. and uh, and but we want to theme it. But even though it was near Halloween, I don't want to be like cliche and do a Halloween. She's like, you know, we just got turned into a green city. So, so I came up with the name Green Stride to put a lot of focus on just overall being green. Yeah. For the race. Did you actually do anything green at the race yep. besides, besides recycling? Yeah, no, we recycle. Oh, yeah, come on, our recover shirts. Oh yeah, I mean, so that's you right. So you not just recycle the bottles, then you wear them. That's right. Uh, it was recycled so, yeah, clothing. Well, I mean, you actually. Thank you for up putting a... me in my place there. <laughs> and you you own a lot that. of this is this this is a recycled hoodie know right here. Is. You know. I know. Um, so, uh, but then so I like the name Green Stride at overall, uh, yeah. and I I kind of steered away from the the overall green consciousness not because i don't believe in it but because <laughs> because one i don't want to one be a green washer where yeah. i think it's just we do a lot of practices like everybody should with all the businesses of just yeah. being conscious and uh and so that was just that yeah. and we do what we can and uh and then but put a focus on the races and everything yeah. else so the company was green stride then i renamed officially the newburyport half marathon then the earth rock run and the saint patty's day and all sorts of other races yeah uh, so anyway uh, up and running Wanted to bring something down in the Keys, uh, but not living down there. Uh, my best friend, Robbie McClung, started doing some events on the music side. Yep. And I was like, Robbie, let's let's just start this race. Down. Race, well, 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 I did, I did on race my own. Race it up! I, 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 like two or three years prior, I did do that Rum Runner Run 5K, which was kind of How like this. How did that go? How many people came out? Did they, get, did they get wrecked? Was that? Did they all get wrecked? Did it become like a so the like rum runner? Okay, so 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 if you know anything because, about yeah. a green stride race, I'm trying to fix my seat here. Yeah. So if you know anything about a green stride race, something that I've I, I feel like I always want to put. Uh, There's a party at the end. end. Don't try to pat it up. Experience, Mike. It becomes like Mike, a yeah, good runner, party. Like people and, know that extreme so, runners, extreme party. So yes. the rum runner run. Uh, really, the idea came from you know I'm gonna spend my my mom being down in the keys. And yep. wanted an excuse to be to spend the holidays down there, yep. bring the kids, but spend a you know have a, a like a, a work reason to be yeah, down there. An and to work. so I came up with the idea of the Rum Runner Run, which yeah. Holiday Isle, which is now the Postcard Inn, which is known to invent the Rum Runner Rum Drink. Yep. Uh, they I, I pitched them this idea of like, hey, I'd like to host a 5K out of here. I want there to be rum runner stops at the bars, not just here at the Postcard Inn, but over at, uh, at, at the Whale Harbor, at Hog Heaven, all the places are along the course where they just have little rum runner samples. How was the distance of the course again? It was a 5K. It's a 5K. So, yeah. How many stops? So there were probably five total stops. You would admit We started actually at Whale Harbor across the Whale Harbor Bridge yeah. and then went north 
on the old road that uh, ended at the, uh, Island Grill and, or sorry, the turnaround point was the Island Grill and Hog Heaven. <laughs> yeah. And then came back. There was the Calusa Cove Hotel, and then ending at right on the beach at Holiday Isle at their. Do you what, remember what, being extremely surprised by the best time? time? So, what I what I was surprised about at that race, which I think was hysterical, because anybody that does a 5K, like the entire race is over, but within like 45 minutes, even yeah. if you're walking slowly. Yeah. Yeah. So I can remember an hour in, or more, an that. hour and 15 minutes, to be like, "There's still people out on this course. What's going on?" And it turns out that these runners, they didn't only stop at like to like get their run runner sample. They walked into the bars, had Got drinks, some drank some appetizers, and, that, and, then, and then so then finally after like a couple hours, like, "All right, the last person's in," and they're just like crawling over the finish line. <laughs> uh, so no, that was like people love that. Like if yep. anybody that went to that first race uh, just absolutely remembers it and, and i gave away like tank top rum runner runs kind of like your enjoy your life tank tops there almost the same it might even yeah, be yeah. the same brand and uh uh and so then the next year i didn't end up doing it because there was a lot of road construction going on in isle Mirada. and then after that is when i i wanted to go bigger and which is what was so like that main what? event of that half marathon yeah. so we really focused on more the half marathon and 10k when i brought it with robbie and now up into this year we're actually bringing back the 5k which we're going to rebrand as the oh, and it's like as runners our, out the, there uh, that are doing these destination kind of races like think about the prime location not only like yeah. on the course are you looking like out at beauty watching the sun yeah. come up over yeah. the florida Keys Sunrise, ocean absolutely Dude. It, like for Amazing. real, no hype situation. Totally beautiful sunrise. The course is epic, and the vibe associated. Like if you're the kind of person, like we're saying, like you like to get out there, run. You definitely get your fitness in, but you also like to have a good time with like-minded people. The your race events. It's not just like the day of the race. It's a four-day experience. By yeah. the end of it, you know, yeah, like you're waving or saying what's up or have shared time with hundreds of other people that you didn't know before. Yeah, a big huge thing with Isla Mirada in general because yeah. it's such a destination place. So that, and beautiful. We're, 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 Robbie and I are, are allowed to like, even if we screw up, people don't care that much because they're also happy to be in the keys. It, so, oh my gosh, you know, the and we do give away crazy swag. All time low. Yeah. So people between just being in the keys and getting get awesome swag stuff. like if we didn't even have the race you'd be like oh okay there's, a bre <laughs> there's breweries associated oh, packet yeah. pickups uh, at the florida keys oh, brewing yeah, it's, company yeah it's a with, party it's, it's a good vibe mm -hmm. um so how, what is that al Murata half marathon.com is that what that is yeah al Murata. so we're or is it we're, just al Murata half uh no al Murata half marathon.com yeah. uh and al Murata running company is sort of being changed over, but you can find yeah, it either yeah, way, and, yeah, yeah. and we're doing all that. Um, Word, man. So since you're so deep into the running world, do you feel this great pressure to run? Like, no, are you, I hate running. You don't run. I hate it. You hate running. No, I, well, here's the thing. I've, to you be honest, put on, I, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tell me yeah, yeah. what is okay, it. Okay, I'm happy to talk about it. I tell, talk okay. to people all the time about it. So you you don't like running. Yeah, I know you've oh, tried I it many it. times. I've run with no, no, you. No, no, no. I've been a runner. Yep. And I finally had to, oh, yeah, I've run with you. Yeah, we've run together and, several and, times. And once and in a while. even when you're feeling good, you don't mm -hmm. like it. Well, very rarely do I feel good. That's like wow. Okay, well you be I mean, like that wasn't so bad. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, not, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's never like <laughs> that, that's which, what I'm saying. Which it, it's it's like you'll say that wasn't so bad or yeah. that was terrible. You never like, dude. What I can't wait to run tomorrow. Yeah. No, never. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no, I, it's one of those things where I've just I've always done it for exercise. And don't get me wrong, there's been plenty of times where I've yeah. I've felt fine, good, and obviously when you're done with running, you feel good about yourself and all that. But I've. Um, I've never just been one to f personally feel good in terms of – I think it's the way my mind works. I, I do everything too fast. I yeah. talk fast. I drink fast, eat fast, whatever you want to talk about it. You pace and back and forth. If I'm you know pacer, Eli, I'm super you hang ADHD. out with him. Yeah, back so and forth, I, back I, and so forth, I, back and forth. I think the way, yeah, I think the way that forth. relates to my running is that I want to just get this over with. 
So yeah. what happens is I, I, I don't properly pace myself, so I immediately go out too fast yeah. just because I want to be over. I don't ever say to myself, I'm going out for 45 minutes. I, I guess I'm more of a distance, so I'm like, and I'm going to do these three, four, five mile, whatever it's going to be. And I just want it to be done fast, even if I'm not in a race. <laughs> so, so, then, so what happens is within that first five minutes, yeah, I'm yeah. miserable and I, because I just didn't do it right. So I, and, and I think ultimately when I look at it, it's, for me, it's like I still love to exercise and do things that I do really enjoy it's just not right as an athlete do you think that they want to see race directors that are also athletes or runners yeah, definitely. yeah they do yeah i don't they tell do. it because i run races yeah. hey man i yeah. run races right mm -hmm. and i do like it when i see the race director and i'm like that dude could run way better than me he's a better runner than i am and i can just tell by looking at oh him. sure and i yeah. feel like i feel well, good supporting this race because i'm actually supporting a runner I, I definitely think it's important for there to be knowledge of how races should be or what it would yeah. appeal to the participant, yeah. which is yeah. typically by being a runner, having a lot of experience at runners, I mean, at races, uh, which is, which I, I do because I've just been going to them forever. Um, you know, so I think a lot of it, because a lot of times people will ask, oh, well, what's it for? Meaning the charity. Yeah. And because a lot of these events at, are- You have a hard time saying, well- the truth is I'm going to profit off of this event. No, I mean, I don't it necessarily is. put it in those words, but I have no problems with it because I, I oftentimes, I th and I'm trying to get to the point that you were making about, do you think a participant would rather see someone who runs or not runs? I, I look at it like someone who does events or not do events. They want to see a good event at the end two, of it all. I've been to too many of these like sort of uh, non-profit, I'm not saying all of them by yeah. any means, but there's a lot of those smaller 5Ks. They're, they're just strictly to raise some money. But and you know that as an good. athlete. The, you go the, there and you're like, and I'm giving nothing, you guys $45 and, and, and so I think it's very in a circle important, in your parking lot. Uh, right. I think it's very important to have a charitable aspect to all events. Yeah. We always, always do. And uh, But I think you still want to produce an event that's going to be a high-quality event for, and, and invest money that the participants you. do a pay good job of that, to I would back say. Back into that, the event. Yeah. So, um, you go there, there's live music, there's, there's vendors. Good swag, top of the quality. Yeah. You put thoughts into the like, shirt that's designed yeah, it's not versus another just something that's good. Gildan t-shirt or oh, yeah. like just like some big yeah. square. There's actual like for the girls mm -hmm. and for the boys situation. Yeah. All right, so now... Do you, do you consider yourself successful? No, no. I mean, I think a lot of people call me entrepreneurial just because of the way it is, and I don't, I don't even know how to define that. Uh, so, but wait, but wait. Well, well, you I, don't consider yourself successful. No, because I don't, I don't think I'm where I, I want to be. Okay, like, well, it, that's like, a problem with a lot of um, like I see this trend often with people that are entrepreneurs that do like so you're you're successful to a point of where let's, let's I can make a living. Let's be sure, honest, you make a living. Oh yeah, sure. You can provide for your family. You yeah. own two homes. Like you're you're doing. Yeah, I'm okay. okay. Yeah, sure. No, so there is success associated, but in your sure. mind, what you're saying no is way. you're not successful. No way. Your dreams, I'm always, your goals. I'm always trying to move on to like the, much the, the, yeah, higher. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm not like disappointed. It's just like I'm. Uh, I don't know. It's just I'm. I'm thinking about the next like. So I, I don't know how to. You know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like once you get I to the ceiling, yeah, I'm an I'm, you, I'm an entrepreneur you, and I'm yeah. successful. That like you yeah. know, kill me now. Yeah. yeah like yeah, I'm not yeah. now. Now like that's no no. You're, it's you're about like, yeah. Okay, yeah. I got you, man. Always moving up, and, and and I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have millions of dollars in my bank account, so I really don't feel like I should be one to say that. Maybe one day, if I <laughs> if I some an idea that I move forward with or some whether it's event related or what, yeah. then that I that all the, like cut and clear, like okay, wow, this is retirement. This is maybe I would one day look at it like that, but I just don't. Do you think that outside people look at it like that? You, the people look at you and they're like, oh, Eli. I like know. I know some stereotypes that I've heard yeah. from the outside. Like, oh, Eli, he doesn't have to do that much. Oh, he, just, yeah. he just has a couple of races and yeah. hangs out. Yeah, How I, do I get his life? And there's yeah. like, <laughs> however they're presenting it, yeah. it obviously comes with some sort of jealousy or hate. Do you ever recognize that people People that have other kinds of jobs, nine to five jobs, will talk to you like you're kind of a part timer. You're kind of goofing your way through life. They don't take you as serious because you don't have that job. Probably. I am. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, uh, 
I know the feeling. So, like I like everybody looks at me like I'm just goofing my way through life, being yeah. happy, and, oh, sure. and then like everything gets paid for because I act happy and everything's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, I, I don't mean, do anything. You know, well, actually, like, well, I don't like, listen, do anything. Yeah. Listen, I, you know, I think uh, everybody's. <laughs> You know, just do yeah. what you love to do, right? Like it's, it's. Yeah, but you're not I, ultimately I doing think, what you love to do, are you? Um, in many ways, yeah, absolutely. You I are. I mean, like, I love events in terms of being able to bring those people together and kind of create something from scratch and like kind of be responsible for doing stuff like that. Sure. Uh, but no, like, yeah, there's still other drive things, you know, that I'd like to work on, do things that, you know, and ultimately. It, it's you know still there for the taking at some point you know so yeah. since you didn't have like this moment of like i want to be an entrepreneur i can mm -hmm. do this do you think that you can offer advice to like you you think it's a good lane it's a good you're happy with the choice that you made to do your own thing sure absolutely um are you in position to provide some sort of like inspiration a little motivation and, and to people that are like teetering on the edge they're thinking about it like oh god i have this job that gives me this but i could leave and jump off but oh maybe i won't like yeah what do you say to those people because i mean i want everybody to just like jump in play like yep. you do or you don't because if you yep. don't it's somebody else it's just the next guy like you you do it or you don't what do you tell people that are like, oh, man, I wish I had the gusto to do that. Uh, Eli, I, I wish yeah. I had the courage. So I think it's I, I have been approached because there's a few sort of millennial type people that I that I'm closely connected with. Yes. And some of those guys that are younger, meaning in their early to mid 20s, that kind of are in that position of uh, whether you call it I don't know, entrepreneurial spirit type. Yeah. And uh and and they look up at me like I'm really successful because yeah, yeah and probably vibe, like I yeah. did with when I was that yep, age up yep. to some people and uh, so I love just to talk to them like and, and everybody's a different situation and I think just by sort of knowing your own position like if you're if you're into um, uh, already questioning certain aspects of your life you're you're you like that you're not necessarily saying this is what I'm supposed to do. I, I graduated from college and now I need to go get the nine to five job. Yeah. And, do, and if you're maybe you got something like that or not taking a traditional route, uh, that there's a point where, you know, you're, if you're, if you're already asking those questions, then, then you're one step up where I can, you know, talk to Just you and kind of be it. like, yeah, yeah, well, let's, let's, let's look at everything. And I'm happy to kind of talk to people more about like, you're going to make mistakes. Not yeah. everything's going to be perfect. Uh, is personal and happiness and well-being involved that, well, in your conversation? Is oh, that the driving that, factor? That, the, yes, that's like the main thing. Yeah, that's, the, that's the main the thing. The struggle is a lot easier like right. throughout like, like for my career knowing that like it's my own yeah, struggle. Yeah, like I have a couple projects now that I'm I'm happy that I'm just going. I have no idea how successful they're going to be, but like how I'd be very upset if I never even attempted them. Oh my gosh. And yeah. if if I do do it and they're not successful, I mean, how upset am I really going to be? I'm, at least I can say, at least I tried, right? Yeah. At least I did that, you know? At least, I, like, I, I did this, you know? And, I, you know, if you, for all the people, and there's a lot of those phrases out there, you know, about, about <laughs> sort of like, if you, you know, you can't get yeah. anywhere if you don't try or whatever. So yeah, yeah. it's all true, right? Yeah, it really, it yeah. really is. That's why those colloquial phrases exist. But, I, but my train yeah. of thought has always just been, I'm just going to do this. And... For better or worse, you know, it's... People well, are like, bro, well, you're then, well, that's you not going to work. You're crazy. And I'm like, no, nah, it's actually going to work because I'm, there's actually no other option. I'm not going to let any other option yeah. exist. Like, I'm going for this. I'm going to make it real. Watch me go. And you do yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just kind of, yeah, okay. Like, this is, I, I think I want to do this now. I With the running thing, I... I, I because you could have been like, I, let's I, go I definitely a saw race. an opportunity. Like I said, that first year of New Report, yeah. I, I had no idea this was even uh -huh. an industry. Did never, and many people don't. Like, those people that ask questions, like, oh, no, people make livings doing this, and they have a race. So that first year, as I was learning, and I made all sorts of mistakes, I was so lucky just to get the first 1,200 people that first year to New Report just to kind of, you know, not lose thousands yeah. of dollars yeah, yeah. Th promising people with, with having you know nothing to show for it and after that first year i was like oh wow that was hard that was a lot of work i didn't realize that but i loved it i thought right. that was really great and people enjoyed it they saw sort of the work i the, like the the personal touch i would put into these events for certain things 
and I want to do more of it. And I knew then that how I could save money, not spend so much on shirts and or, yeah. or whatever else it might be. And I can open up new events. So yeah. and and that was just how many was. people ran registered for the Al Morada event last year when things were what we knew as normal. So last year's Al Morada. So Al Morada has been consistently growing every year. So yes. last year we had probably seventeen to eighteen hundred. Per, uh, I'll bet Robbie McClung, your partner in this one, knows the exact number. Yeah, I mean, I could probably look it up too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he wouldn't look it up. Well, so what it is is well, how many? What was the number? Probably, probably, probably somewhere in the sixteen to seventeen hundred unique runners. What okay, I mean by now, that is that there's because we have multiple events and yeah, some, some people of them can sign do up for a few. For so like, let's call it seventeen hundred. Yeah, is that yeah? So like call it eighteen hundred, eighteen to hundred to two thousand registrations. Okay, two thousand registrations. Sure. Average price of registration. Um, let's call it ninety to hundred bucks. Wow. Yeah. Are the associated costs maybe anyway? more than that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. Alan Rod is actually uh, doesn't cost a ton to produce. Yeah. Uh, but we, in terms of like uh, overhead of like police details and things like that, because it's just mostly out and back. There's not a there's not uh, a ton What's of that. So two hundred thousand's coming in. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I going too far here? Yeah. No. I, I, I never. Uh, and there's also outside of that some heavy dollars from sponsors. So, yeah, so we get some sponsorships. One thing we were working on uh, in, in concentrating on more last year and this year was getting some uh, you had sponsership. Once we once our event was really down pat, because the, those first couple was, of years, we were getting... a dope event. Yeah. It definitely um, is. Dude. Yeah. Al um, yeah. yeah. half marathon early December. Not great just time because to get down I'm there. there on the microphone, yeah. just straight chilling in the sunshine, because mm -hmm. I actually like that event. I do a lot of events. I like that one. Yeah. Get back Let's talk to the about the ones you world. don't like. <laughs> we would never do that. Uh, uh, so, sometimes uh, I get bored, but you know, that yours, no, I'm not there. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so, so it, it makes sense. Yeah. And, and this year we were we were so ahead of trend. I mean, we had over 600 registrations in February, like meaning oh meaning gosh. like 10 months in advance, and uh, you know things change. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it'll get back there at some point. Um, yes, we will. We'll be out there on the course of the palm trees and the keys real quick. Um, off topic of anything we've been talking about, um, you've ended up in some unique situations where you're in conversations with some superstars, famous people. I, I, <laughs> I, I may have been. Sure. I, I'm assuming this. Who do you got in your bag? For famous people? Yeah, you just ended up in a conversation with. In, in the past? Yeah, in your life. Um, college was Adam Sandler when he came to UCF a couple times and was filming Waterboy. And what was he was what was going on there? So, um, uh, were you providing him with any services of any? Kind? I don't know what we're supposed to or not talk to uh, <laughs> talk to about with this uh, podcast. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it's podcast. That's probably not good no, to I'll do. No, I'll talk about Adam. whatever you want. I, but. Uh, but yeah, so so Adam, so, which is now a completely legal thing, but Adam was yeah. into the cannabis. You would say. Uh, yes. Adam so, and, and, uh, I, I hung out with him a little bit, but yeah. it was definitely like that crew from Waterboy that I was hanging out with. Like, I want to say the last two weeks of filming, uh, yeah. either every day one was coming to my house or I was going over on set over at the Citrus Bowl and hooking them up with some supplies. Yeah. Cause when I was with, uh, Peter Dante, with Peter Dante. Dante was at my house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you so, remember, but like he came over in scrubs. No, nah, man. Him and this guy, Rob Corsi, who wasn't an actor but it was like adam sandler's i think i want to say uh yep. guitar service rep guy cool guys but they'd come over and you know we peter would talk stories about his neighbor archie bunker and things like that yeah. Yeah. i'm telling you because i was with peter dante in the virgin islands there and i told you and you gave me a little story I saw to run, you by, I'm like, That's my boy. run by him and uh yeah. He 100% knew who you were. Did he yeah. remember? Yeah. Did he really? Of course I remember that guy. I wrote back to you. It's in the text chain, I'll bet you. I told you. I don't remember that. Okay. If I didn't write I, back, then uh, I meant to. Okay. But the guy, yeah, 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 he, yeah, yeah. Is, he was like my homie, my right-hand man for like four days oh, yeah. of he's my life. He's always having fun. Yeah, no. He, I mean, uh, not afraid to have fun. Like, no. He's still going, and I'm like oh, yeah. sneaking out to go to the campsite, go to sleep. Like, yeah, nice. yeah, 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 nice. yeah. Um, so how do you find yourself 
aside from need for finances, how do you find that you stay motivated? Like, like, what? well, I mean, you know, it's, it is can it be strict, hard for sure. Uh, is it strictly finance financial? Would you be putting no, on events if no. you had just like your bank account was like just racks on racks on stacks? You had so much money. Would you be putting on events? Um, yes and no. And I mean, like, what well, would I be that's doing? That's a to- very definitive answer. <laughs> no, but Thank I, you. I can get so so like. Uh, I would probably explore other events that I've wanted to do that if I had racks and racks of cash that it would be less risky. So I wouldn't be afraid or, or, or I'd have the resources to put them on uh, and try them out where if you don't have that, it, it's more risky. Uh, and but but would I be doing all the road races and sort of hustling as much? I mean, I, yeah. I don't know. I guess not. I mean, I, here's the thing. I, there's the hustling in general, and you're either a hustler or you're not. A, you're a hustler. You yeah. like it's all about just going after, it, going after yeah, it. whatever absolutely. it is. Doesn't matter what it is. It's just going after it. Make it you know? real. And, yeah. and you know whether it's your brain, whatever it is. And uh, so I can't ever imagine not just going after it, whatever that is, right? Just going after yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, that's it's just something that people have in their blood. But uh, then there's um. But then in terms of like going after exactly what I'm doing right now, like, no, I mean, I, I'm also one to, you try to keep your finger on the pulse. Like his road races right now where it's at and where nah, like man, the industry. You want to be the, bouncing like, from industry it, it, success exactly. over here in technology, success exactly. in the endurance race right. world. Like, exactly. Exactly. Um, so, so, so there's always that. Like if I, it's more about where do I see an opportunity? Yeah. Like I can't, like I would tell you, I don't run myself. I've been to many races. I was and all this, but, but I saw the opportunity. Yeah. All these people are doing it like there's an opportunity here and let's go after it. Yeah. Uh, and now, you know, it's been saturated. Many people say, and uh, so I, but I have a lot of love and thank so many people for helping out throughout the years and making it successful and the passionate people that have been going to all my events every single year. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, you got to love every, yeah, every person people, like, and, crew, it's, yeah. it's, and, and every weekend or every event when it's time for event weekend, it's like always just love for everybody. So I always love that. Uh, but again, business is business. Where's yeah. the, wh- you know, I, I want to stay motivated doing aside something. from all the hype and excitement and like creativity and all that, that goes with the lifestyle and the career path that you've chosen. Um, do you ever find yourself going? And I could just get a job. Yeah, I could just get just get a job, and it would be like I don't even have to think. So, so. But you laugh at it. You're like, Michael, maybe, you I wanna, maybe I want to. Maybe I want to try it. Similar. Maybe I could try it's it. It's funny because because we, we you, yeah. if you look at it, you probably we wouldn't think by looking at it that. But yeah, I think because that's physical you appearance. literally take words out of my mouth yeah. at times, and and, yeah. and so, uh, yeah. So, but I would say like, like uh. I'm 42 now. <laughs> Probably pre pre 40, I was kind of like I You're was old because when we, you we, say we, now we, after we, your we, age, we, yeah, we, you we, never because, go because, because well, I'm 26 we, now. Because, you don't because, say because, that. Oh no, but because I'm, I'm going to elaborate on exactly what you said. You yeah. said I could just go get a job, and so yes, pre 40, I was saying to myself, I could just even though I'd probably be miserable there, <laughs> but it's just a steady <laughs> paycheck. I can like not have my brain move so much, whether for you know, I'm not saying that's like a good thing. I'm just saying <laughs> Isn't in it general, funny that first it just gets exhausting. We're talking about one of those if, jobs yeah. having just less thinking and, and involved, if, yeah. and those people right now are like, yeah. dude, what's up with these guys? Yeah, yeah. no, hey, I'm not naming the <laughs> they job. They goof their way through and, life. No, what are they my, talking but, about? But post 40, when I still have those same thoughts, what, what changes is I don't think I would get hired for Who's you. ready to hire so the old like, guy? Who want to know? Like, like, so yeah. I, I have no choice now. Did you guys interview anyone today? Yeah, let's get, yeah old guy, guy yeah, came he's in. He's got gray hairs now. Old guy came he, in. I don't know why he you know, wants to do this. Uh, it but, said, like, right in the thing, like, hip. We used everything we could without being, like, you know, profiling. And uh, he still came in. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how his yo-yo skills are going to help us. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need a class clown. Uh, so now, what what makes you feel alive at this point? Like, what are you doing when you're uh, like... All right, you ready for the what, most yeah. cliche answer? Yeah! And what the best thing is that you have to agree with me. You can't say what I'm about to say. Do you know what I'm about to say? I don't know what you're about to say. I, I, I thought... Are you ready? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm feeling ready. My children. Is that it? Doesn't That's that make you feel alive, Michael? Having uh, children? It really does. All right. To be well, honest okay, with you. Okay, you said it. I said it. There we go. We got children. Yeah. But first thing, after children, love my kids more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Now, what about like you got this? Like you got three days, Eli. Mm-hmm. 
in front of you. You got nothing to, no one to care for, nothing. I mean, my, my level over the past five do? years in terms of recreation where you can't, I can't get enough of is snowboarding. Snowboarding. I mean, that's just like, and I, I love that. And again, going back to the kids that all my, I have three kids and all of them are better than me now. And yep. they're still real young. Uh, and, you know, I get 60 days in a year, 50 to 60 days in a year. Uh, so, like, that's, like, priority. I've never like, snowboarded on a, a real mountain, ever. No. Like, no. where, like, on a hill? It's just, like, hills. Like, yeah. take a snowboard to a hill, you know? Yeah, like, like one of those, like, snowboards that wasn't even, like, a real snowboard. So it was, like, a... a, like a uh, no, like, the kind where you just, like, put your regular shoes into these things and there's, like, a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, thing, which, which, yeah. which is not going to ever get anybody into snowboarding because you're going to just eat shit immediately. And, I loved it, yeah. but, you know... Yeah, I don't know. Hey, man. I mean, come up this winter. I'll get you and the kids on. <laughs> get me in there. So on the snowboard tip, yeah. right? So that gives you – that, that yeah, hypes that, you that, up right that, now. That, that's, that's where, like, you know, just sort of, like, peaceful mind, just being up there on the mountain. And Do you typically – like, when I think about snowboarding, I'm thinking about – because this is if, – if I was going to ride, this is how I would ride. Is just like ripping fast, like getting after it. So I'm assuming yeah, you ride – Yeah, I go hard. I go hard. You go hard. Yeah. So – does that apply to other activities that you participate in? Like you, you go like you're into the extreme. That's an extreme yeah. sport, technically. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you, so, you go so, hard like that, and well, other things, you, or do you like play golf? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I mean, I, I golf is something I've not that golf the last is two not years. challenging. No, no, it's the most challenging actually. Like it's uh, so. But is it the same kind of sport no. while we're on the topic? No, you know it's not. No, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's you know maybe one could make the comparison on how it, you know, kind you of, you can be well yeah. out of some sort of yeah, shape. I mean, it's a golf. challenge. I mean, like everything is a challenge, but I, you know, snowboarding, I think because of my age where I, it's like, I'm not going, I, 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 I'm not, when I say I go hard, meaning I charge the mountain, but I'm not spending all my time in the parks. Like my son is now. Yeah. I'm not uh, you saying know? like you're and ripping so, so the, you're not, ripping the pipes. I'm not out to like risk it, yeah. injury anymore. So I do still take it to a point where I just, Love doing it, and I'm good enough where no matter what you, run I'm doing, I'm gonna have a great time. Do you doing drive it. fast? Do you drive fast? No, yeah, I don't know. No. I, I don't know. I like my car with torque. I love that zero to sixty. <laughs> torque? That's what you're into. You, well, I mean, it, it becomes, hold on. When, when you I'm, go to like buy a car, do you ask those kinds of questions? How's the torque? No, I like, just I just blow them away on the st like from like under the red light and turns green. Oh, you even have a off, kind of a hippie car line. too to go on the whole green stride tip. Don't you have some kind of hippie car that does something good for the environment, eco? You had, to, you had to bring that one up to me. Why you don't have that anymore? It got taken from oh, you. Oh no, that's right. No, no. Oh yeah, you're talking about the old Tahoe. I, I had one of those. Yes, I did have <laughs> yes. one of those. Uh, well, it was a Tahoe, uh, uh, but it was the hybrid <laughs> model. They made four of them. I had one of them. <laughs> they stopped making them after yeah. like four days. Didn't really work yeah. out. No, I mean, no. What it was was I don't think I was really saving anything on the on the on the uh, on the mileage, but. Yeah, uh, that, we're we're stepping away from yeah, the I, I industry we went, yeah. career talk, yeah. and I and I like it. Let's, let's roll with okay. it. Favorite movie? Like what, what's your, what's the like top movies in the All world? Right, my of two Eli favorite Bailey? movies are Pee Wee's Big Adventure and Rushmore. Wow. Yeah. That's tr I've never I. Yeah. I didn't. But there's no even not even a question. I'm kind of stumbling after my, you say that. I believe they're both just absolute genius movies. Rushmore, I think I, I Wes see Anderson. That. I mean, I love all the stuff, but I think Rushmore just that was like. The intro, I wow. mean, Bottle Rocket was awesome too, but the, that next Rushmore, which introduced Jason Schwartzman, Bill Murray's character, just it was the writing, epic. Yep. unbelievable. I agree with that. And then Pee Wee's Big Adventure, I don't think people, I mean, there are people, but like I, the genius <laughs> of that movie, Paul Rubens, who's Pee Wee, and, and, uh, uh, and uh, Phil Hartman, who we love. Paul Rubens, the two he's them. the guy that ended and, up with the suspect kind of. Yeah, down in Florida, doing down the some early funny 90s. stuff oh, down yeah, there. Yeah. And, yeah, but he's, private. you know, nowadays that was nothing now. No, but I wouldn't even care. You wouldn't even hear about that. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, so, but Phil Hartman, him and they wrote the movie and they found, from my understanding, they found Tim Burton uh, or they went and watched his like thesis movie at whatever college Tim Burton went to and said, we're, we're getting this guy to do. And that was Tim Burton's first movie. And Rushmore or Pee Wee? No, no, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah, okay. Pee Wee's Big Adventure was Tim Burton's, I think, first feature film, and we all know where he went. So, hey, but anyway, as far yeah. as my favorites, yeah, those ones, absolutely. I love it because I love the goofy, <laughs> like Pee Wee Herman. And you want to do that, Pee Wee Herman, one more time for me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's what's going on, on here. Uh, okay, on the same kind of cliche yeah. thing. Yeah. Favorite musicians. 
Uh, uh, grew up, up. Gotta love my Stevie Ray Vaughan and bands really? being Black Crows. Oh yeah. Stevie uh, Ray Vaughan just like for some reason. Yeah. Uh, it's just yeah, like, I, that I, just I couldn't even tell you a single thing, and I'm happy I can't. I don't know why. You don't like Stevie Ray Vaughan? I don't know. I've no. I've no reason. But when like people, when I ask this question and people say Stevie Ray Vaughan, I'm always like, but how did that happen? Like how, how did that happen? How did that? How happen? did he happen? No, you end up listening to him. Oh, well, my brother and my parents. I mean, my brother was Stevie Ray, the Black Crows, sort of just influenced. My brother, eight years older than me, uh, always the kind of rock and roll blues. Uh, and uh, and we had a friend that directed videos for Stevie Ray Vaughan. And so I think that was one of yeah, the things. That makes you a little but that was, But keep in mind, that was back when I was like eight, nine years old. I mean, I, you know. So we got to, wait, yeah. the famous people, we got to Adam Sandler. Don't you spend some time hanging out with rock? You like how I'm bouncing Dwayne all over the place. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I, I, you, you say his yeah. real name. Yeah. Yeah, Dwayne. Yeah, me and me and DJ go way back. No, I, yeah, Isn't I, your cousin on the Lakers or something too? Isn't something like that going on? Who's that guy? So, Matt. So what's his Matt, name? Yeah, Matt. Matt is a cousin who played for. Uh, what's his name? Matt Bonner. The, yeah, the whole, the, whole, the whole family is uh, out of New Hampshire. So, uh, and you ever use that to your advantage in any situation? Was that? You ever use that to your advantage? Well, my cousin is Matt Bonner, and then like you get into the high school game for free or something. Yeah, no. Well, I, I I get into like when I go to visit Matt in San Antonio, and he's still like the he he doesn't play for them anymore, but he's like the color and analyst. So I took my son Andre down there, and like he puts us on the floor. We went when the Celtics were playing them. Yeah. And like you know, get to meet the players and stuff like that. So. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so no, I mean we're close with the Bonners. They they uh, spend a lot of time still in New Hampshire. Do they live a luxurious lifestyle? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of. I mean, like like really, like just lives modestly, but like a beautiful home in New Hampshire that he has, and that we like to visit him up on the lake and up uh, in the New Is Hampshire. Is there a pool lakes. also at the lake? Yes, like Is a, there a hot tub. I don't remember seeing a hot tub. I'm pretty I'll sure that again, I would show pictures of a hot well, tub. You, Isn't there like a hot tub inside, like a cave inside the house? Oh, you're thinking of a different cousin. I have a very wealthy cousin that's not okay, famous. Okay, this is a different cousin. Yeah, that's totally different cousin. No, no, that 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 cousin's oh, a good, that's another whole scenario. Of, that's a that's a different level of money. <laughs> um, uh, yes, but he's not famous. He's not you know someone that. So as I, I'm gonna take a trip over here to get grab another beverage. Yeah. Um, you, okay. you're interested. I love my spigot rivers. Interested. You know, this it's, one's the fresh guy. I like it a lot. So, but um, what do you what do you think about the Spigot River beer thus far? Spigot River is awesome. Uh, first time I heard of them was them uh, reaching out to me to come to one of my events uh, about two years ago, uh, and they were actually the talk of the event. I had it was sort of wow. like a it was sort of like a mini brew fest that I but I had it in separate locations. It was called the the beer music walk, yep. something that I still want to turn into multiple events once yep. all this uh, uh, quarantine stuff is over. But uh, those guys came out, and uh, I, I set were them up in place. Were they tons of fun? They were awesome. Those guys were like they were like the hit of the party. There was there were a couple breweries on site, and all those guys that own the breweries in Amesbury all went over to the Spigot River area we're this, hanging out wow. and then those guys hooked me up with a ton of beer Whoa. no it was awesome and and, at the, and they didn't do it last year because they were still building their brewery yep. um, and the they brewery were like, oh, is built yeah, and beautiful I, I, saw, I gotta be out there so anyway I love everything they do so I'm psyched that these guys are part big of big love Spigot River Brewery Spigot River yeah. yeah beer and music walk next year better be there oh no, they'll be there they'll be there yeah they have to be they'll have to be <clears throat> alright um, as I go do that yeah why don't you tell me about some of your fears in life outside of business? What fears. Do you, what do you fear? What makes you sick at night? Gives you anxiety? Hmm. All right. That's the one to think about while I sip my spigot river. Um, it's probably that idea of just not being enough to provide whatever that, whether it be financially or just love and everything, just that sort of, that's might go hand in hand with the drive to want to be successful whether it be just personally, financially, whatever. So the fear is almost works opposite where it's like, uh, if, you know, if, if I find myself in a position where I'm not where I'd love to be or want to be that you kind of have that fear of what if this doesn't happen? So you, which I think are normal feelings, but it's yeah. kind of, you know, that's, I so think it's a, legit again, thing. Like it's a legit thing. I think that's why not we, able to so many people don't take yeah. the self, the safe route. Right. Yeah. Because it's like, you don't know it's everything is questions, you know, that's, there's going to be risking things. So it's like, I can't imagine not, you know, sometimes I get sad if I, you know, cause now that you are at a point where, okay, these, these, 
mortgage bills are real. These kids have real costs. <laughs> these, these, you know, kids. like, like these and, kids and, and, are costs. But I still want to take Whoa. this. I still want to take this one risk because I think it's gonna be. But but you you do have to analyze a little bit more. Yeah. And I'll probably still end up taking the risk. But then you have that fear at night still being like, what if it doesn't work out? What if yeah. you know and, and all this stuff? Are you giving me an option here? I yeah, love you it. got all a right. double option oh, there, boy. Goodness, look at this. Look at that. All right, we got Bloom. Just the name of that sounds awesome, and the beauty of the can. Put that Bloom can right towards your camera real quick. Look right at this Bloom there. right here. Yeah, yeah Bloom is Whoa. where I'm going at, but this looks really cool, too. Little green monster man, I like that. And That's like the um, special side, batch beer. Side Grolsch, is that what it slides? It's a Grolsch, Kolsch? Col yeah, perhaps. I just yeah. uh, I like the handwriting, but I, it's it's wiped off a little bit, so I can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll try, yeah, we'll try yeah. this one. This is a, this is a New England IPA. Yep, um, it is. So a oh, lot of people, Ale. when I ask them about... Their fears. Um, they say like spiders. Well, no, a lot of people actually say death. And it's like, hmm. for me, it's not one that I ever think about. I never think about I that. never have I mean, that. I shouldn't say I, I, I never think. I mean, I think we all think about it in some form, but it never, it does, never it, affects the way of, that I more operate. More a second of thought. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware get. that I'm impermanent and I could die right now. Yeah. So with that in mind, yeah. I definitely position myself to make sure that I'm happy sure. in what I'm doing. Yeah. But I don't like operate in life with death on my mind. No. Yeah. Okay. No, I can't imagine that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. How and about I, public speaking? Does that frighten you at all? Uh, maybe it has, which is what's held me back from going to where maybe I wanted to go with stand-up. And I don't know if yeah. it was that public speaking or not. I mean, this is probably the most I've done in years. Um, but I, I guess it's never steered me away. But I've also never had too much of an opportunity, other than like a few open mics that I did in New York. Like I never, yeah. I never, uh, the things I I drove myself to do, it was never something that put myself on that stage. I guess, or well, you know, the yeah. the You're kind not, of not like what you do, you know. Yeah, right. I've done a few things. You you do see me actually race announced at the, like, end of, at the end of the race. I at, think uh, that you do a good job. So yeah, so I guess at I the end of the day, I guess like, I'm not really scared or worried about it. You yeah. know, coming on this podcast, I don't know how well I'm doing talking about it, but I wasn't like nervous about it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, I, I yeah. want to probably listen the to it. The flow is back. good. Does everybody agree here? The flow is nice. Everybody, this is agrees. nice. Probably the best thing you've seen within this minute. You definitely make a guest <laughs> feel very comfortable. Thank you. So, like, well, yeah, I, I how mean, can you I, not love it? I, I love you. So, you know. I love you, man. We've and, been together for a long time in terms of, like, okay. friendship, working relationships. We you're have. LG. First, let me say this, and then we're going to talk about our beautiful relationship, our sweet, sweet relationship. So, all the guests that come on this show are not only individuals that are successful in their career, who are an inspiration within the working world, they're also people that I can, can love truly because they're good people that are doing good things for other people. And I think you're here, and what you do as a human being creates more positivity than negativity. You're a good man. So you, Eli Balin, are offering wow. something outside, either through your industry or through your life, you're offering something that is positive and beneficial to the world by being a good person. Thank you. That's the idea behind this show yeah. here. If you were a offering terrible person, I, would, not have I wouldn't have them. you on or I'd have you on right. and be like, this is an exception. This guy's terrible at everything he does um, except for X. Um, so I love you. That's why you're on. That's why you're here. Thank you. Yeah. No, man. And I uh, shoot the love right back at yeah. you. And Thank you. I do think about that a lot. Not about being a good person or what, but just <laughs> that that idea. I think that's something else. I don't, th I don't, I don't think I'm it has a good man. Do with being entrepreneurial. I don't know. It's just about wanting to do things, not not do things for others, but like create something that's awesome that other people can be part of, right? Like Fun, actually, yes. I think may have been left out of this. Not only yeah, happy, yeah, but yeah. fun like, drives a lot of what you do. You, yeah, I, I mean, know I, you. So get thing. into our friendship. I know you. You like to have I fun. Think, I think, that's just it. I think the people, fun that, I mean, however you would want to analyze wins. whatever the hell I'm doing, I don't think anyone's saying Eli is this genius that figures out this stuff. No, I think they just kind of look at it. It's as simple as it is. It's like, okay, well, he's doing, he started an event that's fun for 
people and he's making it more fun because he threw in a fun party and then he's throwing night like it's like yeah it's just that like why wouldn't you want to do that and i just think there are those people that like yeah I'll i do think that. the foundation yeah, of all your events is fun <laughs> whether health health and fitness or not like that's a vibe that you carry this childlike exuberance <laughs> with you it, so yeah. when we go out like a lot of people you know whatever like i go out with people when you travel a lot like you travel a lot i travel a lot and end up with like all these different crews everywhere you know the crew scene like people that are into these kinds of things they know like you get somewhere you're with the crew you have your guy and then there's like 10 other people that you never knew before but you're the crew for the next three days or 10 days mm -hmm. and like the crew that i know the crew that i roll with with you guys is just like butter, yeah we throw the vibes smooth it's always like i know what's gonna go down yeah. i know that like oh the like playing acoustic music on the beach at the end of the night while everybody's just getting toe up is gonna happen it's gonna be so fun i don't know where i started with this but like fun yeah, like, I, I, is I, I, always <laughs> a goal that is associated with your events in yeah. my mind i think about them i'm like yeah we not to say that the event isn't tight and right and run better than the majority of the events that are out there but it's also fun yeah yeah yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I, like I, I appreciate you saying that. And, like, oh, yeah, that's you know how I, it is. Wait, it, it, hold on. That's where I started. That? When I go out in the world, there's not that many people that I can actually go out with and, like, continue on the, like, I'm still a kid. I'm just having fun vibe. But you and me do a great job yeah. of going out. And, like, if they – seriously, this, this is – maybe it's bragging. But, like, if they wanted to put a video together of, like, how you just go out to dudes and have a fun night – we crush that. We do a good job. All of day. That. It's like hilarious. No, it's one of those things. That, well, every time it's epic. Yeah, like we. Uh, you want to always epic. Uh, yes, you know sorry. that something's gonna strange might happen, which is what you have to look forward to, and who knows what that could be. But it's just kind of like just be open to it, because and all it has to do is just talking to people. Right? Talk Living to, in don't, the don't, moment. Don't not not be. You know, hey, time to. You know, who, who, naturally what, what's, what's with that getting going engaged. On? Let's go. Let's go explore what's happening over getting there. Getting walked out of one good. location. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I mean, if you want to talk about some of that, so yeah, we've we've been yeah. kicked out of a couple things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like the same night in the same place. <laughs> oh, I don't know if the world is ready yeah, for yeah. that. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, yeah, that was. Oh fun. man, was fun. yes. So, but like, but 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 we did it in a loving way. We weren't like kicked out because we were like assholes. Never. No, ever. we did. We no, got no, kicked no. out just because we shouldn't have been at a private event. Taking advantage of like really and we good were food so for much other people. Fun that attention yeah. was drawn. <laughs> yeah, we were just, exactly. Yeah. We, we we brought like like we got Let's kicked give out. give those guys yeah, this award the, of the night. But, Wait, who are those guys? Yeah, yeah, they were. They don't even a part of. No, I don't think this. that they should be here. <laughs> that and that oh, took a couple no. hours till they figured that one out. And and yeah, you go straight to the top confidently. Yeah. I will take that. I'd also like a vegan meal off the menu. <laughs> oh, and they just did that right away for you. They was there was no questions asked, and then where was this? Where were Fort we? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. One of the the hotel that we were staying at Whoa. the night before we were coming back, and that was uh, there was just a private event that we I think at first we might have honestly mistakenly walked out to the outside bar, and uh, but we, but it didn't take long till we were like you know this is a private thing, and. Oh, you no, it was something like that because when I went to pay for the drink, right? They, well, the, they it was like, like no. right and, away. And you were the first so man. I'm well, not saying no to a free drink, and it was just a tip situation. And then I'm looking at all these different food stations everywhere, and I'm like, that looks delicious. And that slowly, looks good. it's like, and, wait a minute, my black V-neck T-shirt is not so dressy anymore. <laughs> oh, oh and, and and then at some point and then they there's fun games inside they're they're spray painting hats with names on them and you're getting inside booths that have a lot money, of money flying, flying away everywhere. A lot flying of money. around everywhere it's that was such a fun night and then right before they were gonna hand the money they were like <laughs> You guys don't belong here. <laughs> and, and I think I even tried to argue them like I do belong there. Yeah. But yeah, no, they're, they're and like, yeah, just like from you're not, there. You're not full of us. You don't work for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, this is a oh mm. gosh, golly, we're so sorry. Yeah. And mm. then we'll just brush over the the next story by just giving a lesson. Is this a lesson? Yeah, don't eat don't off people's plates. Stick your chip in someone else's 
dip. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, for sure. Especially yeah, yeah. if you're not 100% sure if you don't they know are them into it. At all. And you just yeah. walk up. Yeah, so that, you know. And for everyone that knows. Like, I thought I got permission. And any curiosity, I thought that's I got an actual permission. chip, permission. an actual dip yeah, yeah, that, that I'm talking about. Yeah, that wasn't like a med, like <laughs> There's a. no metaphor. Like, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, no, that yeah. was. Yeah. I'm not that clever, boy. Yeah. Was it a chip? Was that what it was? It was, it was a tortilla chip into tortilla. guacamole, and I, man. I like, was that good? I'm like, can I have some? And. I thought she said yes. You weren't really sussing out the vibe correctly. I, I was wrong Most with the vibe. Most times you interpret the vibe perfectly. That was you. You an interpret people. Where I was you wrong. proceed. Yep. That was it was not an unusual right. occasion yeah. where I could see from my seat that this wasn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you these, knew before I knew that. that I wasn't it wasn't aligning. Right. It wasn't yeah. aligning <laughs> um, with these two humans. But I was curious as to why I was continuing. And then I saw the mighty chip dip. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, then, and then yeah, that was it. I think we then, were asked to leave. And then, yeah, then she turned around and didn't want I don't even remember to, if it was the, a girl or a guy. Yeah, no, no, some, some woman that was, I That's think, right, on, from a, like on Nashville a business or trip somewhere yeah. or something. And, uh, and then she didn't even want to look in the direction. And when we were trying to be nice, I want to be like, like I got like, no, the I don't have the director for that. I'm no, going to have marathon, no. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> having nothing of it. And then, and that was the hotel I think we were staying at, too. Yeah, so, it was. That, so having to get kicked out of two different places at the hotel that you're staying at and having to try to explain that to the management, that was kind of like, yeah, yeah, you guys just, just, just go away. Come like, back yeah. when you're just going to sleep. It's it's hard to get upset with people that are going, Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> you know? We couldn't we had no yeah, we had nothing. We were Not like, even, Yeah, like No, there's no part of us trying to dispute. It was, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Uh, uh who are the people that you're getting into that you draw inspiration from, like that you um, look you look at and you're like, Yeah, well, that guy right there, man, he's got it going on. Yeah, I you know, with me it's I I, I like sticking close to the community because that's just where I'm at, you know, in terms of local community. So some of the guys oh, like are within, here. You mean like within the running community or just no, in no, the, I mean, the, the actual, actual community? Just, yeah. just like the new, the greater new report, okay. Amesbury, Salisbury area. So like you mentioned so, Wayne earlier, I do have a lot of respect for a guy like that that just kind of makes things from scratch. Just anyone that's a mover and shaker, whichever and way it is. Over, yep. Yeah. Um, what are some other individuals aside uh, from Wayne Capalupo uh, from uh, SPS and Surfside yeah, 5 yeah, yeah, and Sea uh, Glass? Dan and, Healy's another one that uh, was the head of Arc Technologies and uh, owns a lot of property. Yeah. Dan would be happy and, 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 to hear and, and, you say and, and, that he inspires and, and, you. And, but, yeah. and what's important, I think, more than anything, not just about being like great, good with business, but being very involved in their community. Mm-hmm. You know, like I think that they're very pro Ainsbury Salisbury New Report. You know, stay. You know, so it's not like they're just, you feel, they just happen to live here. Do you no, feel it's genuine from both oh, parties? Oh, oh, it's not even in question. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, because I see them out and yeah. know that, and, and and just being believers. Especially and you've worked with both of them behind doors. In, yeah, know, sure, in ways, whether know. it be sp- through sponsorship and yeah. th- different things, you know. Um, but who else, you know, like our, we have a young female mayor in Amesbury, Cassandra, who I've always thought she was a great yeah. person. And you got to like give her. her respect to be able to do that. And I was I've worked with, the, with her. She's a good person. I was close with the previous mayor, person. too. But like she, but just qualified. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and just, again, just go-getters. People like that that just, you know, come from a good spot. Don't necessarily always have to agree with their politics in certain ways. But it's just like you, you, I think anybody that kind of is on that page of just you know moving forward i understand it correctly nobody gave you anything either though you were you were oh no i was handed about 10 million dollars yeah exactly yeah yeah so you were loved and cared for but no one gave you this or said you should do this so you um no no i never i i I loosely brought this up earlier but i recognize this trait in a lot of people that um that are successful that have a hard time recognizing they're successful because let's just say a situation you're talking to this 20 year old kid, like you'd said, and they're looking up to you when you were 20, if somebody would have told you, you could just be doing events and you could have a life where you have a house, you have a vacation house and you can take care of your food and your cars and everything just by doing that. You'd be like, definitely that's winning. All right. So I ask guests, to in a way that nori nori says it on drink champs to like take the time to smell the roses while you're alive while you're here like give yourself an opportunity to go you know what it's so important to enjoy the ride 
Yeah, but also to tell yourself, like, you you actually have done good. You have succeeded. Is it the top level of your goal list? No, it's not. But you are successful because you're able to live a good life doing something first and foremost to most people that you don't hate. You don't sure. hate it. Yeah. You don't hate no, your I life. No, do, I do love yeah. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I, yeah. So as your friend, I don't like hearing you say you're not successful because you are. You are successful. Are sure. you successful to the level of the bazillions uh, of dollars and whatever? That's not for us to talk about, but it's not. Right. You're not, sure. So yeah. So you're I guess successful. A, a definite. Sure. Yes. I mean, I guess to the everyday person, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Like, like I think when you goals. first asked that question, I was like, no. Like it was. I think it's more just like. I don't associate the question with and, having millions of dollars. Right. And I, and I do and I don't. Like it's kind of like like I don't care about being worth a billion. Like I don't. But but but. It, I don't, I don't necessarily think, find myself you're not totally fulfilled well, yet. I think also because of the industry or the way the path is, is that like it's it's proven to be successful, but I don't have like the bank pile for retirement, so I still need to hustle. So yeah. it's hard for me to say successful. You know, yeah. I you know I I believe that I will always I will get there or whatever, but yeah. like it's not that simple. Like oh, I did this. So would you and- prefer doing well? He's doing well. Oh, shit. I'm doing... Yeah, I'm making a modest living. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he does well. He does well. Yeah, he's like, you know, those road races he does, and he's throwing around a yo-yo and, yeah. you know, like... Uh, oh, these guys uh, traveling and, everywhere. Yeah. He's, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. What a world he is. in the stock market a whole lot, but, you know... He's just he's, goofing his way mm-hmm. through. What a thing. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe you, Robbie lives in West Virginia. Um, <laughs> uh, we missed that trip. <laughs> so, um, we're carrying on with this. Like, so a big part of the show that viewers appreciate is they see an other side of people. So yeah, we touched on all your industry and now we're going well into our, like your life and sure. these things. And I, and I think that is valuable and often overlooked in interviews and it's two hours long. We could talk about anything. Yeah. It's just like. Life is the best, mm-hmm. and and um, I like to bring this up, too. I'm comfortable to tell you that I'm happy that you're here and that I like you and that I consider you my friend and, and to show to humans that it's totally cool to give love and appreciation and support to other people and to say it and not always assume. Like, Eli's my boy. I, I talk to you all the time. We've been friends for, it's probably decades now, and I still think that for me it feels good to tell you that. Um, I appreciate that, I and people like don't say it done. enough. It is important, I think, it, it and, uh, and, 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 you know, going on the one thing I've learned that I think many people don't understand when they're coming up into business, and that's so important, uh, I mean, you and I are really close, you know, because yeah. we do, you know, yeah. we're kind of beyond just a friendship slash business. Yeah. But yeah. how important relationships are in business. And that really is one of those things where it's like you just think, oh, costs are costs of this and that. And you're going to know when you come up, whatever business that you're in, you have these relationships with and just yeah. how important that is and appreciating it and, and understanding. So there's. And that's just such an important thing to get when it comes to owning a business, whatever, you know, that you're going to cross so many paths and who you get along with. And and there's very few times where you meet people like I just do business with these people and that's that. I mean, it's out there, but it's kind of like, yeah, yeah no, yeah. if you do things year after year, whether they provide merchandise, whether they provide different services, there's reasons beyond just because you provide a shirt or because you're an announcer or because yeah. whatever. Oh, it's, golly. It's, it's, it, you need to, you want to be around there's people so many you want to be around, you know? Like, I got to um, be real, for, especially for what I do. Like, there's a lot of people that can talk and yeah. be entertaining, but it's, it's not just what's happening on the mic. It's that, like, I'm truly appreciative for everything that I'm doing and I like people and like I'm a part of the you, you know when we go do our thing together I don't do my I'm not 100% gone and then I go announce and then you don't see me again like I'm there I'm with you what are we doing like a part of the scene like I think that's the way that's probably that's how we went from business business to business slash friendship to just like yeah we work together but we're just bros yeah, like where right. it's at now yeah so it's because of that open-mindedness just like yeah. you're saying to have to yeah, be aware we, that you we, should we have a relationship well, with like, the business. I, I think with 
what I, you know, again, going on to the early days where it's like, I don't even know what to tell you I want you to say. I just just do it and like, okay, he did it and he, I liked how he did it and I don't think I've ever once been like, like unless once in a while, like, oh, just make a mention of where the bathrooms are, or like, yeah. like in, in which you normally would do, who knows what it could be, yeah, but yeah. for the most part, do I ever question you? Just like, pulling yeah, my strings is basically do, what he's you saying. Do, you do what Michael, you want. Michael, yeah. do this. No, no. Say I know, this. Like, I know there's, you know. Say this. I'm certainly not one to give out scripts and everything. You know, like, nah, no, man. man. So no, there is I, that, I, like, I, variation that's... over all of the announcing. Like, the people that write me, like, 100-page scripts that I never look at. Mm -hmm. And then the people that don't give me anything. Yeah, you get the and, same, and here's the same thing. I, I'm glad that you're that per because I wouldn't even know how to write out a script. Like, oh, that's just not how I am. Maybe mm. there are people that are like that and need that done. And and yeah. with me, it's like no. I mean, like, I, I, like, like if an artist is designing a logo for me, I always make sure like I kind of want this, but like you're the artist. Like you do you. Like like I, I respect that and want that, and I think that was brings flavor and character into whatever it is I'm trying to produce. You what know? if you fail that miserably? Hmm. I, I, I mean, like, well, so, I don't want to have to think like I never fail anything. I, I'm, I'm sure there's a. Well, ton. So I'll bring up some um, things that I've, I've heard yeah, you talk about, yeah, and yeah. then we can talk about where they're at. There was some kind of snowboard brand. Did um, that ever happen? Did it even come off the ground? Yeah. Like so clothing, uh, so, apparel, lifestyle. So, 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 uh, so undercover so, cloud boy or something. Uh, Powder prophets King. of winter, man. Prophets Pro of winter. It's there it is. That's awesome. clever. Prophets so here's of the thing. winter. I can't say I failed because like it hasn't. Prophets of rage. It just hasn't been done. Uh, so I'm not saying it's going, but it's one of those things where you know it's it, it's it's been on the burner. Yeah. You know when's it coming off? When's it? You know, so it's hard to say. But yeah, no. I mean, in terms of ideas of businesses, um, I. I I haven't had any failures in the sense of I went full force and it just never got off the ground. So I would say my failure is not getting to the point to whether I make, you know, so that, and that I do. So believe, that's what they say. That, like that it, it failed failure, before it even took it, off. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, so, be, so I would say two ones that, that just haven't come to any sort of fruition. So at the moment, they're just nothing in, in, in you know, whether it be failing. Did you or spend just, a lot of time so, on the profits of winter. No, oh, is that I, I what mean, it was called he, again? I wouldn't say a lot of time. I spent a lot okay. of time on the, my toy. Hold on, that's what. Let me run yeah. through my thing. Yeah, yeah. So we had that, mm -hmm. and then we had we had the toy. Yeah. So most people like toy. They think about crazy yeah. things. So yeah. what is the toy? You have the toy with you? No. Man, you're no. just dropping the no, toy, well, the yo-yo, all the things. I yeah, I need, I we need to see you're these. You have to have me on need again. To appear. Appear. You're, you're gonna get appear. some people be like, I love that guest. Like, when am I gonna see you the yo-yo? When am I gonna see the toy? You know. And so then you're gonna be like, all so right, popular demand, Eli. You gotta come back. You put the toy, um, yeah. into production, like you designed. Um, so, no, well, no, that, 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 you said anything, architects. You spent money, money though. though. Oh sure. Yes. No, I definitely spent money and, Where's and design. The toy? And, and, and Are I you do still a hot on it, the toy? It, and it works. In Are you hot ways, into yes it though? No. Yes, I mean, it, I mean, right now it's one of those things uh, where like I don't, I don't want to use the actually, excuse of like the, the kendama. I just want to stick with it. No, well, not well. It's uh, so no. The toy itself is I've just basically I've invented a toy. It's a skill toy, uh, like what something skill called a kendama toy. that would appeal to those people. And I've had skill some toy. designs. I have some prototypes. Uh, but here's the thing: you have an idea, and uh, so these are all lessons to be learning. Yeah. And again, like up, whether you can say I've been lesson. successful in business and certain things, and but there's always things you're learning, and you got to figure you got to figure out and. Maybe these are still things I'm figuring out and, you know, because I have an idea like, oh, this would work. This is great. I've been in the into skilled toys for so long and, and this is something that's not out. And I build it and I design it and I get a prototype. And OK, now it's time to look into manufacturing and, oh. and, 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 and production or, and, uh, uh, you know, just the various plastics. And you have to look in what, everything that you don't really so much that you wouldn't necessarily think of to get it out to the public. Yep. Uh, you know, it's not so much of an idea that you can just sell to somebody. You know, there's all sorts of different variables. And so for that in particular, yeah, I get stuck at a point where it's like, oh, just to uh, just to get the mold for this one design yeah. is tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. And 
and then it's still being a, being a skill toy and not like a doll that has a face or whatever. There's a there's risk in that because it's just oh, yeah. they're like, just not as niche, popular right away, as niche. no not, chance grandma's walking by it, and it, grabbing one of those. It, it, exactly. So yeah. it's, it's one of those things. So so it's not something I say. Oh, that failed. It never really took off. But it's also not completely over it, either. Okay. Like again, if you went and wanted, if you like the question you posed earlier, if you just had a million dollars, millions, whatever, you all this, maybe oh, that, that, toy would, that. that toy would yeah, absolutely okay. happen because I would just spend the money on whatever it takes to get it out there and then see how it did. Do but, but hey, things do take money to get done. You Are know? you ready to come through for me right now? I will come through. All right. Do you have a kendama in your pocket? In my car, I do. Oh, in my, I can't. Hey, listen. If you need to do some sort of quick no, break, no, I can, no, no, no. That's it. No tricks in your pockets. There's nothing. <laughs> I haven't seen this before. I got a lighter. You know, I, uh, <laughs> that, that, that didn't work. Trick. That yeah, didn't go well. Work. Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah, they idea. didn't see that yeah, one. You know, the Spicket River, you know, it doesn't help with it the... It doesn't getting, help with your lighter tricks. <laughs> um, so is there you anything you in your mind right now in the world of Eli mm -hmm. Balin that is brewing that is the next most exciting thing that you haven't told anybody about yet and like everybody that knows you is going to be like wow that's what he's up to you want to reveal right now no Nothing? i do have Come something on, though. man you want yeah what is it more kids on the it's way a, it, no 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 i got <laughs> fixed after the third one was <laughs> healthy <laughs> I highly suggest that. Um, wow. Yeah, Let's no, it's not give medical it's a, it's a, recommendations. Well, it, it goes with one of those things. Uh, so it's, uh, I, I told you about the brew games. So it is event related. Brew games, yeah. Did I tell you about the brew games? Yeah, uh, so it's sort of like the triathlon and backyard games. So, so what I'm working on more because we are in the pandemic and events just simply aren't happening, I'm actually taking an idea that I had for what would be an event, but realizing that as a platform, uh, it would work as an app for people to get and utilize and basically create little miniature events, meaning whether you're just hosting a barbecue in your backyard and you have a, a cornhole set. It's like competing with other people all over the no, place kind no, of vibe? No, it's, it's in, it's, it's in person, uh, it's, it's in person, uh, game. So, uh, it's a it's a community it's a web based community. All right. <laughs> now I have to like think of like my mission statement of all this. So it's a, it's a, it's a way to basically score like, games yeah. on your phone, part of a, a big community, but you're actually playing cornhole against somebody. Okay. But you might actually play a game of cornhole, a game of can jam, a game of bocce, and who is the best of all of them? Kind of like a triathlon or a yeah. decathlon. So. How do you know it's official? Is it official, Larry? That's official, Larry. It's official. It's official. It's official. It's official. Yeah. So is it, when's that? When can I um, brew mm. games for life? No, I mean right now I'm looking at app developers. It's it's something yeah. because that's just what it is. So this, you know, it's it's a it's a. You know Strick? Do I know Strick? Yeah, Daniel know, Marklin. Know, There's know. some good app developers out there, man. Like nearby? You have to give me their info. Yeah. Daniel Strick. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what he's in for. He'll get the call from Eli. He's a good guy. Be like, guy. you work for free, right? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, actually, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm finding. No one works for free. Well, that's a lot of work to build your app for your brew games that I can't even understand yeah, I built what the it website is when you're telling bit. me about it. Because I still don't know what it is. I, I get it. But I don't quite get it. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm not gonna get into it. It's, yeah, you it's, shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you asked, man. Like it's like, but I. Yeah. Oh man, well, um, I gotta say, Eli, um, when I asked you your favorite musicians, you said Stevie Ray Vaughan, and then I took it off course. I heard you saying Black Crows when I was talking over you. Yep. Um, so you want to talk about more of the music that I, just, I love? No, no, no. I just want to know if there's any hip hop involved. Oh, there's always hip hop. Yeah, there's always hip hop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. So let's see. I mean, for my early days, I mean, you know, being a '90s kid, just like the be of course Quest the Beastie guy? Boys. Oh yeah, I mean Q-Tip. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's your jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 so, so Tribe always big. Um, I liked a lot of the old school guys, like the KRS ones, you know, and uh, uh, so. Some of my hip hop now. I'm suddenly thinking about. That's all I needed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, do you feel? No, like I the, saw you had the Illmatic tape. I mean, oh, that's one golly, of the greatest. Man. Like, I, I mean, who? I, I talk about it that. so that's much. Like, so, yeah. like, I try not to talk about it. But like, mm. hip hop is mm -hmm. just like, it's just like my life is like my heart is such a part of everything that I am and will ever be. 
<laughs> That's very, very, very true, Eli. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you're one of the greatest That's live it. shows I've seen. You know Thank that you. I can go to. So I, I only that. wish when we can, you know, get the band back together. So you know? do you think right now, like, is the world in a tough spot? Or I mean, we're pretty good? I think like, it's in a, in a I, I, tough spot, or is it pretty, 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 pretty good? Where is it, Eli Balin, uh, Green I mean, Stride like, listen, Races? Listen, you can't say it's in a good yo -yo. spot, right? You can't say, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I can't say I'm happy because I, I can't do my events. I can't yeah. say, you know, like I can't go just everywhere. I mean, I, it's, I, I what think. about the actual getting along of the humans? Is there hmm. unrest? Like, do you? I think feel there's a lot of unrest in the media, but I think at the end of the day, like in your we're world, we're all pretty similar. And I, your day to day life, do you feel like people hate you more <laughs> now than they did ten months ago, or is it like still kind of the same vibe? People are pretty I don't know, nice. Cause I never see those people anymore. Because uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because uh -huh. you're not out and about as much as we used to be. It's funny, you know. Uh, so no, I think. I do think people are, you know, doing the best they can. I, 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 I like. I, I you feel pretty good about it all. It's gonna be all right. I, I, I am one of those optimists that just yes, it will all be all right. Like I really yeah. do think that, uh, even though there's a lot of just disappointment in in current situations. Yeah. And so it is. So so putting the business thing aside, yeah, it's sad that my kids aren't going to school That's right now. That's some crazy. You know, it's like that, that 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 just that's heart wrenching and and you don't it's not about blaming anybody for it. It's just yeah, that that's sad. You know, so. Does it make you uh, angry at all? Is there any anger built up in you? There isn't a lot of, I mean, yeah, not so much with that specific scenario, but like sometimes <laughs> you want to get, you know, angry at like, you know, we shouldn't have to be in this, but I, I don't, you wouldn't even know who to get mad at. Yeah. We just are. So it's like, and we're all in the same, but I think that's what makes it easy for, or easier for everybody is that we're all in the same position. That's why, like, if I do run into but somebody make, that I haven't do, seen, how you doing? And everyone's going, yeah, yeah, we're all kind of doing the same. You know, well, like, it's yeah, like, not it, great, honestly, but, like... It's like something else you, to talk about besides the weather. You're yeah. like, oh, there's two topics now. Yeah, I know, right? We... Yeah, and then... The, the, so, uh... Do you so, participate in the social media on a personal level? And I don't as much as I get involved in interactions I, and arguments and debates. Oh no, no, never. Yeah. No, which is probably why I don't. I, I'm not as active personally as yeah. as as I maybe was once because I feel like that's what it's become. Yeah, it's you like, know, it's and, a, and, and 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 there's a point where I do cherish privacy too, in ter you know, in terms of just not wanting my entire life out there. Yeah, you know, like I just it, it, I think like, the people like, like you the don't know that much about are it, you know, appealing. mystique. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I try to be. You know? like, oh, you <laughs> Man know of mystery. About me. How do people get in touch with you personally on your I know, like on your Instagram? I don't want to give them your cell phone number. What's your IG though? Woodpecker three one zero. Woodpecker three one zero. Yeah. What, what is that? That was like uh, my favorite writer, Tom Robbins. So three one Woodpecker three one zero has been with me since I lived in New York. So Tom Robbins has a book called Still Life with Woodpecker. And so uh, I think at the time it was one of my first email addresses. Yeah, Woodpecker and so, so so in 310 was I lived on 310 West 39th Street. Wow. And so that's when I created the email. At Woodpecker310 well, well, on well, the so, Instagram. So that is still, but here's the thing, I, I, I hardly ever even. Slightly even, suspect. I don't ever yeah. even think that because that, that email address because that's like just a pure junk email address these days. That was like my but first that's from your like, Instagram. That was literally 25 years ago. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't even. That is kind of strange. I don't even remember why I created my Instagram at three. You were like, I'm the woodpecker. But is it woodpecker 310 also? Yeah, woodpecker 310. That's it. I don't I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe I just wasn't too clever that day and, and just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Like, it's, you know, that was probably before Instagram. Some got, people might look at that and go, oh, woodpecker. But, but there's not a whole lot going on. Like, I don't post. Uh, I, I kind of have. I mean, there's stuff you can look back at it, but I don't post a whole lot. I, I more just. A gateway to the Isla Mirada yeah. half marathon. Yeah, so just follow uh, yeah, Woodpecker three one zero, so we can active. lead you to mm -hmm. the Isla Mirada pages. So, mm -hmm. and in our as we approach our clo closing here, mm -hmm. let's uh, make sure we push these things out there. Uh, Isla Mirada half marathon. Oh, sure. 
dot com is what it is put on oh, by the oh, Almirada yeah. running, running company. Running company. Yeah. Oh yeah. But the website you want to get so hip with. So I will say this, people that are say listening, this, people. and you want to see both Michael and I in action. Wow. So maybe uh, 2020, 2020 is not the year, but without a doubt, no. 2021 will be. Oh yeah. And the more best than anything, if you're seen. one great thing about early December in the Keys, especially if you're a northerner where it starts to get cold, you can have an awesome, inexpensive trip. And I mean that for people no, that are on a budget. No, that's accurate. That's accurate. There's like uh, in, legit like places awesome where you can, you're flying into. You're not flying into Key West. You're flying into either Miami or Fort Lauderdale. Wherever you're coming from, you can always find inexpensive flights, and that's still 100, an inexpensive. 100, 100, that's still an yeah. inexpensive year to rent cars and stay in hotels because it's that pre-Christmas, like uh, you know, yeah. push of or, or uh, yeah, so it's uh, and so if you, especially if you're uh, if you're into running and you want to do a 5K, 10K half marathon, or you just want the beer mile. Um, be a mile or if you just want to do unreal. nothing but hang out and volunteer at the race with Michael and I, you can do Come that too. So out. that's usually the first weekend of December, which is uh, uh, somewhere in like the this year's the sixth, seventh. So next year. Fifth and sixth, something like that. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. It's somewhere around there. It but, gets blurry. It's so out. much fun. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, for all those people that are listening to me, we'll have to at some point um, put Ooh, a, it's going to be an discount offering code. something discount, discount code. code for those that listen to That's this. That's it, you hippies. Absolutely. Offering so, something. It's yeah, not so going to be get, said gonna, anywhere gonna, else. Yep. We will do that. Absolutely. Let's get them to commit to 50% off your registration. <laughs> <laughs> with code offering something. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Fuck wow. yeah. 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 When, when, we're, when we're ready to post, we'll make like a 24 hour, 48 hour thing for Boom. people that listen to this. Boom. There oh, yeah. you go. Everybody in the 310. Use that offering something code. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it at a time though when they can register. Because right now you can't even register for 2020. Yeah. But we'll, we'll make so sure it happens. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. Uh,. <laughs> Uh, it's Almirada Half Marathon.com. It's Greenstride Races.com. St. Patty's Day, Salisbury Beach. Yeah. Cheap Marathon, Salisbury Beach. New Report Half Marathon 2021. You got to check that. Earth and that Rock Rum Ronnie Runner Run. Buried. I'm going to keep pushing them to make the Rum Runner Run real. Oh, yeah. That's going to be part of Almirada. Is it the 5K is the, is the Rum Runner Run? Everybody. So it's not going to be the Rum Runner stops. But once you run the 5K, you get a nice big Rum Runner at the end. I want rum runners throughout, like the beer mile. Uh, okay. You know, it's well, more we'll fun that, that way. Like, don't, it's more fun that way. It's way more fun that way, but yeah. it's also way more work. And yeah, yeah, it's so complicated. I know, but the, there's, the, I, the problem is that they start giving me the rum runners way before the race starts. Oh, and yeah. So it, I'm sorry I put on this event, but I cannot I, follow yeah. through. <laughs> Um, let's think about individuals in, as we, again, are approaching the clo- closing here. Why do I struggle with that word? Closing here. Who do you want to give love to? Human beings. Just regular people. You, my brother. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. I really mean that. And, uh, you know, you've always been close to my heart with everything you do. You Every time, you know, and as fun-loving as you are, you're much of a hard worker. So I think that's important. You you know, so, so, yeah, thanks for having me. And, you know, shout out to just the family, my kids. I don't know. uh, Family, kids. You got any friends? uh, No. You said you, you. you said Don't Robbie was your friend. Of course, man. So yeah. So another great thing that you guys get to check out is that two like peas in a pod when it comes to like uh, like just ADHD oh guys my all God. over the like, place. Try to my work with these two. My close friend and partner Robbie McClung, who also if we're gonna give a shout out to West Virginia because yeah. that's where he's at with West his own Virginia. race hustling down there, and he's a huge part of just uh, Canaan making, Valley Running Company, yep. Can- Canaan Valley Half Marathon. Yep. 10K, 5K, 2K, 1K. And he's a lot of the behind the scenes and all the digital marketing and everything that goes on with Almirada, Canaan Valley, and all that good stuff. I talk to him pretty much every day. So, uh, so yeah. So, all that. He's a good guy. No, he's a great guy. That's it. So, Robbie's getting some love. All right, man. Well, Eli, let me, um, let me say this. I've had a good time with you. This was awesome. Thank you for having me. You're a good person. Thanks for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll say yes. You know, now. you're all right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and thank you. Yeah. Well, is, huge no, love to Spicket River. Yeah. Huge love. This is definitely so. This pale ale here has really been going down smoothly. It's called wow, Bloom. The Bloom. Yeah. New England pale ale. So that's awesome. But I all 
all all ten that I had have been great. <laughs> the, uh, the the fresco wow, was also very good. A drinkable no. beer. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. Thank you so very much for tuning in to offering something. I am your host, Michael Bernie. Is still yeah! feeling so good to be alive. Excited to have had such a wonderful time with our guest tonight, today, this afternoon, Eli Balin. Good human. I love you, my love you, man. Brother. Woodpecker 310. I got to give some love to our sponsors. Enjoy Your Life brand. Get hip with them at Everything is Enjoy Your Life brand. Check out Spicket River Brewery. Delicious beer. And get down with the Higher Education Music and Arts Festival. And if you haven't yet, y'all, click that subscribe button. You know it helps me out. You're my friend. You're my friend. You want to help your friend? <laughs> yeah. That's it, y'all. You ready to, to get out of here, man? Uh, can we do this for like a few more hours? I'm, I'm I don't, sure we can we'll somehow. Let's do it overnight. I know we're Cowboy. doing it overnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Like, you know, we can... awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, Eli, thank you again to our audience out there. Thank you so much for watching the show. I don't want it to end either. No, this is a good time. Yeah, it's we'll a good it hat. Going. We'll keep it it's going. It's a good hat you have. It's a good hat. Did I bring you? I did bring you one, right? You did bring me this one. The, this you butted me up. The, you the gave me a hat. Run, you know, when you can't run on site, you run virtual. Yeah. I got a hat. I got the buff. The buff, yeah. And you know what I didn't do? Damn it. And I didn't, didn't even think of run? it till right now. No, I'm supposed to have this dope goodie bag for you from Enjoy Your Life. Oh. and. Oh. And in, you didn't put it together a goodie bag for me? Nah, I failed on that. I'll take I'll take I'll take that camera. Cheers to being a failure. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta feel good when you fail. No, you're gonna win. I swear this time it's all done. Eli Balin, Michael Bernia offering something. It's your life. Enjoy that thing. Enjoy y'all. your life! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Thank you, Michael.